Once again, you are welcome to our SHS 3 Core Mathematics Revision Lesson brought to you by the Center for National Distance Learning and Open Schooling. I am Lucia Sari Nelson, your host. In our last lesson, we revised magnitude and direction of vectors. Today, we are going to turn our attention to equal and parallel vectors. In this lesson, we shall revise how to 1. State the conditions for two vectors to be equal or parallel. And then 2. We shall find the vectors of a parallelogram when three vertices are given. With me to do this revision lesson once again are students from uh, St. Laws College. I would like them to introduce themselves to us. And we will start from my immediate left. I'm Eileen Kumaho, a final year student. I'm Alice Emefadika, a final year student. I'm Vanessa Afu, a final year student. I am Issa Ahmed, a final year student. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. I want us to begin with equal vectors. Two vectors may be vector AB and vector PQ are said to be equal if they have the same magnitude and the same direction. For example, if vector AB is equal to vector PQ, then the magnitude of AB should be equal to the magnitude of PQ. Now, if we have the vector x1, y1, and we say that vector is equal to the vector x2, y2, then their components x1 should be equal to x2 and y1 must be equal to y2. So for us to equate vectors, we would simply equate their various components. I hope that is clear. Good. Now let's go to our examples. We want to take the first question, and I'll ask Eileen to help us answer that question. I hope you are ready with your writing materials. Go come along with us. These are students that are also preparing for their exams, as you are also preparing for your exam. So let's work together. And um, here is the question. Given that Vector m is equal to 3x plus 1, negative 2y plus 3. And vector n is equal to negative 8, 6. We want to find the coordinate x, y. If vector m is equal to vector n. Eileen, that is the question. Thank you. M has been given in the question to be 3x plus 1 minus 2y plus 3 and n given as minus 8 and 6. I'm going to equate the x component which is 3x plus 1 is equal to minus 8. Giving me 3x is equal to minus 9. And x is equal to minus 9 all over 3. Giving me x to be minus 3. Okay, so you have x to be negative 3. So it means that when you equated the x components, you solve for the value of x yes, please. by making x the subject. And you have x to be equal to negative 3. All right, please continue. And equating the y component to, I have here minus 2y plus 3 equal to 6, giving me minus 2y equal to 2. 
and y equal to th minus 3 all over 2, which is equal to minus 1 and half. Okay, negative 1 and half. All right, so what do you do? Well, how do you present your final answer? Therefore, the value of x is negative 3, okay. and the value of y is negative 1 whole number. 1 over 2, okay. which is 1 and a half. Negative 1 and a half. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Um, let's go to the next question. And um, this question will go to Alice. If the vector A is equal to 1, negative 3, and the vector B is equal to 2, 3, also vector C is given as 8, 3, we want to find m and n such that vector c is equal to m vector a plus n vector b, where m and n are scalars. Alice, please, let's go with the solution. Given that c equals m a plus n b, it means you equate them. So, 8, 3 equals m, 1 minus 3, plus n, 2, 3. You substitute a, b, and c. That's what you have done. Yeah. Okay. And in every scalar, it should be, the scalar, sh every scalar should be used to multiply the vector. Thank you. So, 8, 3 equals m, negative 3m, plus 2n, 3n. Okay. Then you equate the components. components. Okay. So m plus 2n equals 8, giving you equation 1. Okay. And negative 3m plus 3n equals 3, giving you equation 2. Okay. You solve this. We have the elimination method and substitution method. Okay. But I'm using the elimination method. Thank you. You multiply each term in the equation 1 by 3. So you get 3m plus 6n equals 24, giving you equation 3. And equation 2 plus 3. So 3n equals 27. Dividing 27 by 9, you get n to be 3. Then you substitute n equals 3 into equation 1. Alright. So m plus 2 times 3 equals 8, okay. giving you m equals 2. Since 2 times 3 is 6, minus 8 is 2, so your m would be 2. Therefore, m equals 2 and n equals 3. Okay. I realized that you multiply through um, equation 1 by 3. Yes. To get uh, equation 3. Mm -hmm. That was multiplying um, m by 3 to get yeah. 3m. 2n by 3 to get 6n is equal to uh, 8 by 3 to get 24. 24. I could you have used equation 2? If we use equation 2 also, we can arrive at the same answer. Yes. In that case, we're going to divide through by um, 3. Yes. Because 3 is common to yes. all of them. Yes. And we can get the same answer. Exactly. as Okay. Another way students could have done that. Alice said she used uh, the elimination method. We could have used substitution. That means we could have made one of the variables the subject and substituted. But remember that elimination and substitution methods move hand in hand. They move hand in hand. Good. Thank you for that, Alice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, now let's turn our attention to parallel vectors. When two vectors are parallel, it means that they have the same direction. Two va vectors are parallel when they have the same direction. Two vectors are parallel when they have the same direction. For example, if we have the vector AB to be equal to 5 kilometers, 60 degrees, and the vector PQ is equal to 8 kilometers, 60 degrees since these two vectors have the same direction that is 60 degrees we will say that these vectors are parallel the difference here is that with equal vectors 
they must have the same magnitude in the same direction. But for parallel vectors, they just have to have the same direction. As you can see, the two vectors on your screen, that is vector AB and vector PQ. These two vectors are parallel because they have the same direction. Even though the vector PQ is longer, if you can, if you realize that the vector PQ is longer than that of AB, but because they have the same direction, they are parallel. Good. Again, if two vectors are parallel, then one vector can be expressed as a scalar multiple of another. For example, the position vectors 